Wilson Miles from Black Queen TV talking to director, producer, and writer Courtney Glade regarding his film, The Reading, which just played on Billy E.T. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How are you? Good. So you put this baby out for the world to see. How did the concept come about? Um, so the concept came, um, I was watching the kid, uh, Tyler, um, at the time he was interviewing, uh, he's a medium and he was interviewing Bobby Brown and he was so young, he didn't know who Bobby Brown was. So I saw a reaction that he had when he figured out who Bobby Brown was, not knowing who he was. And from that reaction, I wanted to create a film to, to reproduce that reaction. And from literally that moment, a medium with somebody that they didn't know, all of the characters just started coming together and I started putting um, in things of people that I know or things, you know, my family's from Louisiana, so everybody believes in the afterlife and all of that. And I just start mixing these things together and the reading came out. How long did it take you to put the, to write the script? Um, only like two months. Um, oh, the original, the first script, it only took like two months to write, but I'm, a, I'm very, very, um, um picky about storytelling so i rewrote the script maybe like five times and then i had someone a couple of people to look at it to poke holes in it and then we wrote it so the overall process was probably like a year a year and a half mm -hmm. was it always intent to be a horror film no it it, it, it was not it's more of a psychological thriller Thrill. i know in the i know in the um in the trailer, it it pushes the horror, but the horror is a part of it, not necessarily the whole story. So you got a script, you know, obviously it's not always, you know, any, everybody writes scripts. So then it's a matter of getting it shopped around, getting the right people to look at it. Mm -hmm. So how did it come about? You know, what came first? Lee Daniels and Monique as a package, Monique right. first, Lee Daniels afterwards, you know, because you have a cast, but let's right. be honest, most of them are not well known, but everybody knows who Lee is and everybody knows who Monique is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, did they come in uh, uh, towards the latter end of the stage or did they come in at first part? So they were definitely the end of everything. So um, when I went, got the financing for it, I went, got Monique uh, first. After I had my entire cast and then I went, got Monique um, and I held in it because I always knew I wanted Monique to play this role. Um, I got Monique. I had no idea or any contact on Lee, nor did I have a contact on uh, on Monique. Um, but you know, God lined everything up for me. I got a contact on her, got her the script. She loved the script. She chose to be involved in the script. I mean, be involved in the process in this film. Um, we shot the film and I still, I still didn't even know Lee. We shot the film. We completed the film. I got a film, got the film edited. At first the film was like two hours long. And so when I sent that film out to my EPs, they were like, nah, this ain't it. You need to get in a room with somebody that's not your friend and tell them to watch it and give you some some expert advice. And I was like, all right, cool. So my, my manager, Rob Wilkins, had a, a prior relationship um, with Lee. So I told him, hey, let's reach out to Lee. Um, he reached out to Lee. Lee watched the film and immediately basically like called me out to L.A. We had a had a conversation out in L.A. and he he became on board. So he Lee came on board after the film was already done because he saw the work and he really loved the film that we were creating. Now, this interview is about you, but at the same time, the world knows about the relationship between Lee and Monique. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, did you have to have a conversation with Monique to let her know Lee's coming on board or vice versa? Or, were they already, or, were they, or was that baggage already done and solved when he came on board? No, I didn't, I didn't have a conversation with either of them about either of them. Um, when I met Monique, we didn't talk about Lee. When I met Lee, we didn't talk about Monique. Lee just called me one time. After everything was done, I hadn't had a conversation with Monique when I reached out to Lee at all. Um, honestly, I didn't see no need to just because I didn't really, I didn't know of all of the things that were going on. I'm not like a social media uh -huh. news person. So I really didn't know the extent of everything that was going on. It just so happened that's who I wanted to reach out to. So Lee called me and was just like, hey, I'm, you know, going out, reaching back out to Monique. You know what I'm saying? And he, I think he called me like the day before he went out to a comedy show. And like I tell everybody, I wasn't in, um, nor have I ever had a conversation with either of them about either of them. Um, but I'm just happy that the friendship patched up the way that it did. And if I was, if I happened to be the vessel to bring that together, cool. But, you know, I'm sure there were powers way bigger than me that, that wanted that to happen. 
We haven't seen a Monique in a lead role in a long time and it's such a serious film. You know, how was it directing her in this particular movie? Oh, it was it was it was awesome. Um Monique, I don't think people give Monique the flowers. Like I know, you know, the Academy Award, like it's more than that. Monique is um is something else. Um, I don't see a role that Monique can't play. Um, and so with this particular film, I wanted to give the world something that they had not seen her in because her range is so huge. Um, so working with her, honestly, it was like a kid in a candy store because we can get anything. Whatever I act, we can get anything. She can go anywhere. So it was really, really, it was super fun. And then you have a cast, you know, like I said, some of them are familiar to some and others are newcomers and so forth. Um, you know, and you're wearing a lot of hats on this movie. Mm -hmm. I wasn't working with a cast, you know, navigating so many roles. Um, it was, it was good. I mean, I'm a, I come from independent filmmaking. So honestly, one of the things about Monique, Monique had to, Help me understand that I'm in a I'm on another playing field. Wearing many hats ain't the issue. It's delegating and not wearing those hats that are the issue for me because now I have to trust somebody else to get it done. So we would be on set and Monique would have to stop me, like, hey, you know you're not supposed to be moving the camera. You know you're not supposed to be moving that light right there, right? Because I'm an independent filmmaker. So with independent filmmakers, we're hands on everything because usually we don't have the budgets that we need to get things done. We don't have the you know, the Marvel or the, or the you I mean, universal budget. So usually there are more jobs that we're supposed to work. And I'm just used to being that way. So juggling the, the, the different positions, that's not the issue. Not juggling the positions is when I start to get kind of like uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, obviously, you know, you have names like Lee and, and Monique, you know, you're able to get it to BET. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously it, we're hearing right now, what did you learn in the process of this movie throughout this filmmaking that you can take on to your next, your next project? Um, just patience. Um, when you see a movie, it doesn't mean that the movie just got done. There are, there are machines that are at work. Some machines know what they're doing. Some machines don't know what they're doing. They just been guessing for about 30 years and they just keep kind of hitting the barrier. Um, I know that, I I have learned that my creativity is always the best direction to go. Like keep my creativity and stay on the lines of my creativity because this is the this is the vision that God gave me. Stay strong with that. Be open minded to other people's opinions and the direction I can go, but make sure that I keep those as opinions and not facts because it's my you know particular vision. Not everybody can wear many hats. Obviously, once you get out the indie world, sometimes you may have to just be happy with one role if that happens to be what do you prefer to be producer writer or director i wouldn't even be able to answer that right now i i'm gonna be honest i i i writing and directing are i don't see myself writing something and then letting somebody else go direct what's on paper now i can't say maybe producing maybe i would sit down producing because producing is the most stressful getting everything together but writing and directing i don't think i would love to direct other people's stuff but i don't think i'm letting nobody direct something i wrote i don't i don't, I don't know somebody that can handle it yet I'm well writing writing your material then you know the process of getting it seen getting it sold that's a chore itself Mm -hmm. directing you have to you obviously have experience so you know you can always sell your directing experience to get more gigs you mm -hmm. know do you see yourself going after films or episodes or other projects to direct um do, chasing them no if uh, allowing them to come and being open to them yeah absolutely um there are so many people that i want to work with and i know that they're so perfect example i want to work with um blumhouse and i want to work with um, Tyler Perry Films and and uh, Tyler Perry Studio. So I know that those roles of what position I will play in though with with the collaboration of those will become minimal. You know, like I will be playing one or two roles. So I'm open to see where that where that heads or where that leads. Courtney, congratulations on getting this gig out. Obviously, like I said, I I talked to a lot of filmmakers. It's not always easy getting a project done, but you got it right. done for the world to see. It's currently playing. And hopefully we'll talk down the road uh, sooner than later on your sooner next Sooner than project. later. Sooner than yeah. later. So make it so. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you.